Okay, good morning, good day. Second of Shvat, to Shvat. Ayom Yom. Pirke Rebbe speaking, says my father, the Rabbi Rashab, related the following. The Maima Va'era, the Maima Va'era, Ushmi Hashem Le Nodaiti. This is a Maima which there is a mimer of this uh, Diver Hamaskil in Torah Or, but this is not the one. There's another one, as he points out, not the mimer with the title, which is printed in Torah Or, but the mimer, uh, they both is on the same topic, which is discussing the idea of nobody will be pushed away. So it, it acquired the name, that mimer, the Fruma Va'era, the God-fearing Va'era. The Alter Rebbe would repeat it every three years, each time almost verbatim. The Semach Sedek said, each time there was a new light. In other words, the words were almost the same, but there was a, a, a new energy, a new, a new shine to it. And he commented, the Rebbe Rashab, or light is always the same. In other words, the expression was the same, but the mayor, the luminary, which is the Alter Rebbe in this case, is always like something new. Each one of us every day has a little bit, of, a different uh, sense of the day, a different sense of ourselves, and however subtle it may be. And that's reflected in the way we express ourselves in whatever domain and whatever medium, whether it's words or actions. And so this Vayera, although it was almost the same words, had a new energy into, in it, which uh, some said it could, picked up, could pick up on. That's why it's interesting to just think about when we, 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 we you know, we chazer the Tanya over and over. Uh, but I don't know what your experience is, but mine is each and every year that I chazer it, something, it's, it's there. The words were always there, but something new comes to the fore. It says about uh, Hashem himself, Mechadish Bechol Yom Tomid Masabereshis, the deed of creation. It looks like the, all the universe is the same, right? Same planet spinning. But every moment, Hashem is mechadish to my a new energy is being put into it. All right, our Tanya. Lessons in Tanya. We're starting a new chapter here. Chapter 19, page 258 in Lessons in Tanya. And... Yeah, bottom of page half dollar, opposite page forty six in the in this version. Well, the Toysvis beer. So, to add an explanation, what do we, we? Our topic here is the Ava Misuteris, the hidden love which is in each and every Jew. And ultimately, I'm going to suggest we need to be focused on well, how do we tap it. If it's hidden, how do we bring it out of its hiding place? So we touched on that a little bit yesterday. So let's go further. On the Taisvis beer, to a more explanation, sort of that topic, the Adam is a terrace. We have to first explain well. Masha Kosev is a Posik in Mishle. Mishle says, Ner Havaya Nishmas Adam. A lantern of Hashem is the soul of a person. And that's a metaphor we've been talking about a, a, not, a lot, that there's a, 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 a coal burning, a hidden flame that's just ready to be ignited. And that's the, knowing that that, is, that flame is there is the beginning of the process. And then doing those things or encountering those circumstances, because it can, as we said yesterday, come, come out of... Uh, encounters with circumstance that bring forth an energy yeah? because the energy is there, the fire is there, it's a lantern and that, that lantern of Hashem the light, light of Hashem is the soul of a person Pirish, which means Jesus royal, the Jewish people Hakruim Odom, Odom who are called in the Gemara Yavamas they're called Odom Nishmosom Hi Lemashol their souls, our souls are like the er air, are like the light of a lantern. Shemis nanena, which flickers, tomid lamaila, the flickering flame. Always, if you look at it, 
gives the gives, gives the expression of wanting to leave the leave the wick or leave the or leave the log. It's always flickering up. That's its nature, betevoy, in its nature. Because it is the way of the light of a fire. This chofetz beteva, it desires in its nature, the reportim in habasila, to separate from the wick. Lidovic bishorashoy, and to cling in its source up above, lamaila. Yusoyt ha'esh, which is in the fundament of fire, haklali, the general fundament of fire, which is tachas galgal ha'yoreach, which is under the orb of the moon. You know, the Torah understands and gives us there are layers of heaven, layer of heaven, and in the, the, in the heavens surround the earth. The earth is the center here, right? The Torah is geocentric. It is. It's not heliocentric. It's geocentric. This is the center of gravity of everything, the earth. And around it, are, that's one, and that's one of the four yesoidos. And around it is the yesod of water, and then the yesod of air, and then the yesod of H. And the residence, so to speak, of, of that energy, which is the energy of fire, is in the sphere that is in the sphere of the orbit of the moon. So that or encompasses those other three layers, and specifically and notably planet Earth and our souls. And that's why the soul wants to expire upward to unite with the source from whence it came. Underneath, so to speak, the sphere of the moon. And the Shekhosu B'Yitzchayim is written in Yitzchayim. Even though, of course, if the fire were to leave its wick or its wood, there would be no more fire. It would extinguish. So this, think about this is the marshal. The, the soul itself, each of our souls, is a fiery source, a fiery flame, which of its nature, the nature of ourselves, is that we want to expire upward into our source. That's our nature. That's the nature of a Jew. To expire upward, even though in doing so, we will become nullified. That's the word which would be equated with the fire becoming, going out because it leaves the wick. But in the metaphor, the fire, the fire goes out. And in the metaphor, in the actual, uh, in the analog to which this is an analogy, we become consumed in and enveloped when we become and merge again with our creator from whence we came. So that's the mushal of the, the Shoma, Ner Havaya Nishmas Adam. The fire wants to escape from the wick, even though it will be extinguished, and it won't shine at all, down below. Begam Lamaila, and also in its source, Beshorshoi, is bottle oire bemetsias. Its existence will be nullified in exist. It will be nullified in its existence. And we've spoken about this before. When, when in terms of the analog, which is us, nullified in our in existence doesn't mean become the opposite of anything at all. It means to be consumed in and become part of the all. When it becomes, when we're talking about us. It's the nature of ourselves to want to merge with our source. Bimitsia, even but the, from, the, from the perspective of the metaphor, the metaphor is the fire will become nullified, bimitsius, bishorsha, in its, in its root. Afobiche, nevertheless, even though the fire will be nullified in its root, afobiche, in bechachu, paifetz petivoy. That's what it desires in its nature. And that's the key, the key. That to know that this is our nature. We have a fire within us, the soul which enlivens us, which is Tahira. Tahira, he is always Tahira, no matter how many levels it comes down and gets covered over or darkened to the point where we may not even realize that we have it unless we learned about this in the time. So Kach Nishmas Hadam, similarly, the soul of a, of a Jew, and also the other the levels, the three, the two other lower levels. The soul, her desire and her yearning, as a result of her nature, is the soul. This is the soul. Its desire is to separate and to go out from the body, to have an out-of-body experience. But 
the out of body experience, meaning the experience where we're consumed in and meld with Elokus itself, to go out of his body. The Davak the Shorsha to cling to its source, and Makari to its root and source, which is the Hashem, God Himself, who is the Chaya Chayim Boraku, who is the light of all, the life of all lives. Agam Shatiya Ayn Be'efes, even though. And speaking in the language of the metaphor, the soul will become like the fire, absolutely nothing. But this bottle shombe mitzias legamene, and will become absolutely nullified. And in the case of the analog, again, will become enveloped in and consumed with and part of the source itself. And nothing like the fire will be left of the soul the way it was originally, as it was a yesh down here below in our body. <inaudible> Nevertheless, this is the will of the soul, the chafesa, and the soul's desire, the teva, as a part, it's, it's the nature of the soul. And he points out here that this word teva, teva, nature, is a borrowed word, teva, because this is a, 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 this is a our nature is to be out of nature. Our nature is to transcend nature. So therefore, nature here is a borrowed soul, as a borrowed word. This word nature that we're using is a borrowed term. Uh, is a borrowed term. For anything which is not in the realm of reason. We call it nature. Nature is not something you can think about. It's not something you can analyze. Just this is the way things are. So it's something which is not in the realm of reason, but gam kan, and also here, the way we're using teva is kavana. In other words, this word teva, you may have seen in other places, the same word as the, the chariots of power were tuba uva yamsu, tuba uva, they were drowned in the yamsu. So this is the way we are essentially, we are all in our, our essence is an all encompassing light, an all-encompassing nair, an all-encompassing flame, an all-encompassing energy, and we want to return or bring to our state of consciousness, that might be a better way of saying it, that sense of being on fire with the all-consuming fire of wanting to be one with God. That's our nature. That's sunk into us, like the chariots of power. That's sunk into us. That's our basic. That's our basic strata. That's our nature. And this, this nature we're calling nature is something which is higher than understanding, in any graspable understanding. Any, in other words, and it's, it's higher than any. It's higher than anything grasped or understood. The he, where is, where, what's the seat of this? Where is this nature seated in us? In, where would you expect? Chachma. Chachma me'ayin temotzeh. Achma of the soul, which has what I always call a window into the eye. Achma shebenefesh. Because in Achma shebenefesh, in that place of the soul, which is the Achma of the soul, or is Bo or Ein Soboraku. In that, in that Achma of the soul is the light of the infinite one. Blessed be he. And that's today's time. It's interesting. These two sections are very short. We're usually in a rush to get through them. Yesterday and today were very, very brief. So know who you really are and what you really are. And whatever yearnings you have for connection to anything are just murmurs of the real connection that is ultimately what we are all yearning for, which is to be connected with and experience the our being misbottled, nullified in the essence of God. So with that, comments, questions? Um, can I ask a question, please? Yeah, this is the time for comments okay. and questions. Why, uh, it sounds more like Ratzon than Hachma. If it doesn't have a reason and in it's in higher, right? It sounds Rachma, more like Ratzon. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Ratzon is the, is the power to push in one direction over another, right? That's Ratzon. That Rutzen, remember, is an all-encompassing power. <laughs> the same Rutzen that I push myself to think about this instead of that, 
get my mind off of it instead of that. I'm going to have a, I'm tired of thinking about this. That's a Rotson faculty. That same faculty is a faculty that, as is explained, you know, reaches the toe when you, when you want to move your toe or when your toe hits something, stubs its toe and it withdraws. That, that's a, that's a makif power. But there's levels. Wait a minute. Many, 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 many levels of Rotson. It's a makif. We're talking here about the panimi, the way godliness comes down into and, and move, moves down from sechel into midos into masa. And the, the origin of that, that, uh, that uh, descent of the Ein Sof into, all, into, the, uh, into our thought, speech, and action it starts in Hochma. Hochma is the beginning of all. Panimi Ratzan is the makif. So we're talking about panemius. It's our panemius nature to want to be absorbed in Elokus. To fire within. But it's also called teva. Help? He's also calling it teva. Well, that's why. It's our nature. It's tuba'u. It's sunken into us. Man panemi. In. Inside of us. The origin of that. that, that the origin of that that we have sunken into us is, it starts in Hochma. Because Chochma me'ayin to Matzah. Chochma draws down from the ayin into the deeper levels. And it becomes the deep, deep, deep Deva, Ratuba Uva Yamsuf, sunken in the sea, sunken deep inside of us is this spark, this Ne'er Havaya, which is a flame that wants to unite with its source. Does that help you? It's somewhat. It's not, not Makif. Makif is Ratzon. Right. I'm not talking... No, we're talking about panemius. Panemius of Ratzon also. There's the panemius of Ratzon, but that's the panemius of the Makif. I think about that's what it means. Panemius of Ratzon is the panemius of the Ratzon. Panemius Makif has layers. There are, and this is a layers in circles, circles and circles and circles within circles. But all the circles are Makifin. This is panemius. Don't don't misunderstand that panemius of Ratzon is not. The panemius is not the same panemius as we're talking about the panemius of the koichos, spheres and the koichos. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll meditate on that one. <laughs> no, panemius is just this, this simple word, panemius or rotson, but we're talking about rotson. This is not talking about rotson at all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And why mm -hmm. did you start out using the muscle of a lantern rather than a candle? Why did I? Well, first of all, listen, why why Shlomo Hamelak did? Uh, no, I, I don't know, but I'm. I was listening to you. <laughs> I was listening to you. You started well, out. I'm just. I was just reading. I wasn't. I, that wasn't me uh, ad libbing. Okay. That was the Tanya itself quoting uh, Shlomo Hamelak. Ne'er have I nishma southern because that that saying from Mush, from Mishle, he's defining what the soul is. The soul is a lantern. Now, a, a candle is a lantern. It's explained in many of the memoriam about Hanukkah. A candle and a lantern are the same thing. A lantern has three pieces. It has a base, it has a wick, and a fuel. And the candle has that same. The candle, the wax, the, in the candle's case, the wax and the base are the same thing. It stands up. The fuel is the wax and the wick and the, and the fuel. And then you touch fire to it. So uh, there's an oil lantern. There's a wax lantern. There's a whale lantern, <laughs> whale, whale fat. So he there is generic for it, something that has those those faculty those components. Okay, thank you. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But Dad, you have to ask Shlomo Miller why he didn't why he chose Nair instead of candle. <laughs> but I think it's because the Nair is the generic of all those things. Anything else? Questions? Because if we don't have questions or comments, we have to move to Bechain. Okay, so what? What does this mean to us today? I mean, I have another question. Can I? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, we don't see this. If it's such a such a 
panemius, panemius, okay, not, not rotsam, panemius teva. We don't it's see this. It's tubo, thing. it's sunken within us, right? Yes, you do. You see it in every, every, every moment that you have a, uh, a desire to connect with anything. You see, you have an intrinsic, a human being is a social being. And I don't mean social just in society. Humans are naturally drawn to connect with something, whether it's to connect with another person or whether it's to, to connect with a, a creative energy and, and produce something. There's a connectivity, connect. It's if you look at the Maslow's hierarchy of human needs, you'll find it there. I don't know if the word is connect, but you'll find it there. It's one of the human uh, need of every human being to connect with others. That's why we're essentially social. So this is just the ultimate of it. But once you become aware that that any of this, I mean, it's a very powerful thing, at least I, me for me, I'll explain just that to be able to, to understand, and this is because we're learning this, that we are naturally drawn to others, right? We, we're drawn to get married. We're drawn to have friendships. Uh, we're drawn to, to be in organizations, to be social, to go to to go to clubs and to go to events, etc., And all of those things are just microcosms or minis of the ultimate connection, which is driving it all, which is the connection with Elikus. So if you look at your, connect, your drives for connection, you're, you're looking at your metaphorical, your analogies for driving to connection with God. That's the ultimate connection. So the nitsutsot in the in the things. Yeah, think about this. The, the, the yeah. other language that he used here, bottle. Every human being is always looking to become bottle, to lose yourself in something. That's the greatest pleasure. Lose yourself in skiing. Lose yourself in a, in a piece of music. I mean, people don't necessarily think like this, but this is what the Tanya is teaching us. Why do you do that? Because you have an essential teva. There's something sunken in with you which wants to go out of yourself and merge with something else. Very nice. Yeah. Vos noch. What else? There's other okay. people here. Other people want to say something? Just listening, huh? All right. So, I mean, obviously, for me anyway, I'll say, but since that's the case, since uh, um, I'm going to go to Shul in a few minutes and merge with the other nine people, right, to create a minion and uh, carry with me, go, go as much as I can for the rest of the day, that whatever I encounter, I'm going to try to turn into a positive connection. Anybody else? All right. And we'll see you tomorrow in your session. Bye-bye. Thank you, Avi. Thank you. Bye.